with dependency check installed, we can scan our project. In this demo, I have my project here in the Matilda directory. So we're going to type dependency check. And then we want to use the scan option and feed it the folder that our project is in. And you go ahead and hit enter. Now it's important to note that if you're running this for the first time, dependency check needs to go out and download a list of all the different vulnerabilities from the different sources out on the internet. And this can take quite a while to build up this database. Also, if you're running it, but you haven't run it for a long time, there may be several updates to that database. And again, it's gonna go out and download the latest list of issues. So just take note that that may take a, a while. Once the scan is done, you'll have your dependency check report and you can view this with a web browser. So we'll use Firefox and we can just open it up in Firefox and take a look at the report. At the top will be a summary that shows the different files and the number of issues and the worst severity that was found for that particular file. And then for each one of the files, there will be a significant amount of detail down at the bottom that will tell you about all the different vulnerabilities in each file and give you links for more research and advice on what to do next. If you wanted to use a different format other than HTML, then what you can do is type dependency check dash dash help and it'll tell you that you can use the format option up here at the top to specify which output format you would like. So now you can use dependency check to test for vulnerabilities in the software components that you're pulling into your project.